Your job as a professional salesperson is to paint a compelling picture in your prospect's mind. You want to paint such a fantastic picture that your customer, when you're talking about your product or service, will think about how wonderful it is to use your product and how wonderful it is to be using your services. That's your job. And to do that, we need to sell benefits. Not just features, but benefits. Let me explain. Let's take this phone for example. If a salesperson sells me the features and says, this phone has GPS, what sort of picture do I have in my head? At the most, I'll be thinking this phone has a GPS chip in it. And that's all my brain is thinking. But if the salesperson were to tell me that with this GPS chip, the feature, you will never ever be late for another appointment again because you'll never get lost anymore. The benefit. And now, in my head, instead of having a picture of a GPS ship which has no meaning, I'll be thinking of all my happy customers that will be happy with me because I was on time. Because I was never late. Let me give you other examples. If you're selling software, most software salespeople will just sell features. This software has a bajillion data streams on it. You know, in the customer's mind, they'll be thinking, and so there's a kabajillion streams on it. Instead of saying that, he can say, well, this software has a kabajillion streams on it, and this means that you can save lots of time in your uploads, and time is money for your business. And now, instead of thinking about the kabajillion streams, which means nothing, now I'm thinking about all the time and money I'll save. Well, Let's say you're selling training. Instead of telling people that you're selling sales training, no, I sell sales training. Instead of saying that, instead of selling just the features, sell the benefits. This program, our sales training, can improve your bottom line many times over, helping you achieve a record year and impressing all your superiors. Now, instead of thinking about just sales training, and what do people think about when they think about training? They think about sitting down on a chair the whole day. So instead of selling those features, you sell the benefits of that and how he can impress people, make record sales. And that's a wonderful picture. If you're selling paper plates, don't just say, oh, this paper plate has a polymer coated yada yada blah blah. I mean, so what? You think about a polymer coated blah blah yada? Yeah, yeah? It doesn't matter. Tell people, that this paper plate has a polymer coated blah blah yaya, yeah, and this means that you will never have another soggy plate in your party again. And because we all have problems in parties and soggy plates, it's terrible, you know, the chicken curry goes all over. So if you're selling holiday packages, instead of telling them it's four days, three nights, you know, over the weekend, and you know, you're taking this light. Instead of saying that, say, you will have four days and three nights, which is long enough to enjoy the sights and sounds of Bali. And you can take this time to do all these activities, such as surfing and blah, blah, blah. So instead of saying, giving people to imagine four days, three nights, okay, what is four days, three nights? There's hardly any picture in your head. They are thinking about the good time they will enjoy in Bali. If let's say you're selling clothes, Instead of saying, oh, um, this dress looks good on you. Instead of saying, saying something like that, you can say, you know, if you wear this dress to your gala dinner tonight, you will wow so many people. And now, instead of the woman thinking, oh, the dress is great, she is thinking that when she goes for a gala dinner, people will be... Uh, commenting on the dress, people will be admiring a dress, people will be looking at her and thinking she is beautiful. If let's say you sell, you sell cats, yeah, cats. If let's say you sell cats, don't say this cat is three months old. So what? You know, what's the picture in your head? The cat is small. Sell instead the benefit. You know what? If you get this cat, 
one day when you come back home and you're feeling down and upset about someone or something and you see this cat lying down like this asking you to rub his belly all your problems go away and that's the benefit now it doesn't matter what you're selling don't just sell features sell benefits and I bet you if you start selling benefits more often than just features your sales will go way 